As it turns out, um, <laughs> that wasn't the part of the easement I thought it was. It basically just goes up and down repeatedly over and over and looks exactly the same. There's a little bit of a trail over here. I'm going to give it a try, see if I can find, uh, I mean, obviously we'll eventually run into the rail trail, right? Maybe, hopefully. If not, Carrie will be waiting a long, oh, long time. All right, somehow I, somehow I ended up back in this clearing. Um, not sure how. Pretty sure I was going in this direction last time. So I'm going to go back the way I came and look for any trails that branch to the right. Must have missed it on my way over here. Well, it's three hours. I have an hour to get back. And I know I have uh, three miles once I get to the Milford border. And I think I'm pretty deep in Brookline still, so I might be a little late. But as I recall, if I go down this trail a little bit to the right, it'll come to the end of the rail trail, which I believe is about a five-mile run. So I shouldn't be that late. Signing off. Addendum. I uh, walked about 20 feet, and it looks like this might be where it branches off. I came down from uh, the hill there on the left. So I'm going to go straight ahead on what looks like a trail, which hopefully is the one I came in originally, leading back to the entrance. Um, I should say the end of the Brookline Rail Trail. We'll see. Okay, there's that little flat rocky area that was not as interesting as I hoped it would be. So I'll keep continuing going down this trail and we'll see where I go. All right, good news everyone. I've made it back to the rail trail. Been running about three hours and ten minutes. Uh, it's about five miles from here. So at a 13 minute mile, if I'm still going that fast, should be about an hour and five minutes-ish. So I shouldn't be too late for picking up the wife. I'm sure she'll forgive me. She's quite forgiving. She has to be. She's married to me. All right, I'm coming around to the uh, start of the Milford Rail Trail here. It's been about four hours and 12 minutes at this point, and I'm uh, kind of tired. Didn't go as fast as uh, I thought I might on the last five. It's a little bit more walking. Legs are kind of sore. So, all in all, an excellent run, and I'm only half an hour late to pick up the wife. That's okay. She said if I was late, she'd find something to do. Probably, you know, digging up buried treasure or something. And on the whole trail, I saw like three people. And they were all together. And they were doing trail maintenance. It's actually the same thing that happened to me last time I was on the trail. I saw one guy who was cutting brush with a chainsaw. Well, four hours. 13 minutes. And I'm signing off. Hope you've enjoyed this show. Goodbye. Well, here's the map that I was using for the run. Uh, as you can see at the top right, the red line that um, goes down towards the uh, middle bottom of the page is Route 13. Basically, the rail trail follows that down. Um, you can see Melendi Pond. It's the only pond visible on there. And basically, the real question is, uh, where did I go? started up here. Looks like I followed the rail trail down. I don't know if the purple is the rail trail or... Yeah, I think the purple is the rail trail. End of trail. So this must be uh, Scabbard Mill Brook. As you can see, Scabbard Mill Brook is around here. So yeah, that would be the general area. I believe I ran over here towards the red trail. Came over toward... Um, Hutchinson Hill Road. I don't know that I actually made it over there, but I, I do believe I went up Bald Hill. Intersected, this right here is the power lines going all the way through. Intersected up here. I, I, I think somehow I made it up here and then went all the way back down to the end of the trail, which I then followed up again to get to the Milford border, at which point it was another three miles home. So you can see there's a lot of difficulty in trying to find out where you are watching this and where you're trying to go. Yeah, that's about it. Having done my 18 mile long run, I've decided to uh, relax, take a shower, get into comfy clothes, and enjoy some light reading. Possibly one of the greatest crossover comics ever made, The Punisher Meets Archie. Here we have something you probably thought you'd never see, The Punisher with a gun at Archie's nose. There's a uh, criminal who happens to look 
pretty much exactly like Archie, so there's a case of mistaken identities here. Don't worry, Archie does live through this sequence. Yeah, and I wish we had more time, because then I could go into the various Star Trek X-Men crossover comic books I have. But uh, sadly, we're out of time. Thank you for watching.